Hey traders, John Fortune here with this week's weekly forex forecast for the 16th of October to the 20th of October 2017. As always, starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of currency pairs looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in the coming week and also weeks ahead. So I hope you all had a fantastic week last week. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index, we can see that price did in fact decline from the highs of last week after tagging the key resistance areas highlighted in last week's Forex forecast. And we knew that this would be a possible scenario going into last week. Now, price traded back down towards the key area of support roughly at the 92.630 area after this inverse head and shoulders breakout to the upside. So we are overall looking for a continuation of this breakout to the upside. And this is an area where we could start to see some buying coming into the US dollar index. Just bear in mind that we're on a daily chart here. However, we are still currently pushing to the downside and there is a risk that even if we get the buyers taking control round about this area, we could go into a kind of a range like this potentially. So we are looking for further advances in the long run here in the US dollar index as long as price stays above the 92.635. We're looking first of all up to a target of the 93.45 in the US dollar index, which is a tag of the key resistance over here. And if we get a breakthrough here, we'll be looking up towards the 94.03 over here. However, because we are still pushing to the downside, we're going to give the US dollar index a fairly neutral bias going into next week as we could go into a bit of a range. Now, what that means is we're going to be taking each of the currency pairs on their own merit without a strong bias either way on the dollar. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, last week, oil broke above the key area of resistance roughly at the 50.41 area. And as you can see, we had a breakout of this downward sloping trend line. So it looks like we have a breakout now potentially of a large bull flag pointing to potential continuations to the upside. Now, what we'll be looking for next week is a pullback into the 50.41 area of resistance, which was broken, now acting as support. If we get a pullback into this area, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking to a target to the upside of the 52.39 in oil. Next, we're going to look at the Euro US dollar. Now, the Euro US dollar last week broke above this downward sloping trend line. As you can see, after this breakout, we traded up into the 1.16363 area of resistance. And this seems to have been causing a bit of disagreement between the buyers and the sellers because you can see we pushed up and then we started to push down below and we actually go into next week below this key area of resistance. So because we start next week below this key area of resistance, we have no choice but to look to the downside here. And as long as price stays below the 1.18363 area of resistance, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to form in this area. And we're going to be looking to short those down towards the target of the 1.17225 in the Euro US dollar. Now, in the event we get a break back above this key area of resistance then, and it starts to test this area of resistance to support, this is where we will start to look for bullish formations and patterns up towards the targets to the upside. But our primary bias is to the downside as we start next week below this key area of resistance. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound US dollar. Now, last week, the pound US dollar actually broke above key area of resistance at the 1.32696. And it actually finished last week above this key area of resistance. So we go into next week just looking for a continuation of this push to the upside and a possible test of broken resistance turning support at the 1.32696 to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking up towards a target to the 1.34467. Now, if we do start to see that US dollar strength, we get a break back down below here. We'll be looking down towards the 1.31550. But our primary bias is always where we 
start the week and we start the week above the key area of resistance broken looking to turn support of the 1.32696. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now you can see we're getting this kind of head and shoulders pattern to the downside in the US dollar Japanese yen. And last week we broke below key area of support at the 112.117. So we go into next week looking for a pullback and a test of broken support to act as resistance. And we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to appear in this area. And if we get those bearish formations and patterns in this area, we're going to be looking at shorts down towards the target of the 111.0. 080 in the US dollar Japanese yen and we're going to be looking for those shorts as long as we stay below broken support acting resistance at the 112.117 area. The next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie US dollar. Now last week we broke above and in fact we go into next week above the key area of resistance roughly at 0 0.78728. Now, as long as we stay above this key area of resistance, we're going to be looking for a test of broken resistance as support. And we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear in the Aussie US dollar. And we're going to be looking to take those up towards the target to the upside at the 0 0.79530. And we also have an overall target to the upside at the 0 0.8041. Two roughly. Now, in the event we get some US dollar strength coming in next week and we fail to stay above the key area of broken resistance and this fails to act as support, we will be looking back down towards the 0.78099 as a kind of plan B on the Aussie US dollar. So we're prepared to play this both ways as we are with a number of pairs going into next week. The next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand US dollar. Now, last week, New Zealand US dollar broke above key area of resistance at the 0 0.71429. Didn't really have any trouble breaking through here. So the setup we're looking for going into next week is a pullback and a test of broken resistance acting as support. And here we're going to look for bullish formations and patterns to form. And if we get those bullish formations and patterns in this area, we're going to be looking up towards a target of 0 0.72387 on the New Zealand US dollar next week. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Swiss franc. Now last week, as you can see, in fact, for a while, this price was getting squeezed to the upside, forming this kind of rising wedge pattern. And we had a breakout last week of this pattern, as well as a breakdown below key area of support at 0 0.97622. So very simply, we go into next week looking for bearish formations and patterns to appear in this area. And we're going to look to short this pair down towards the target of the 0 0.96480. The next pair we're going to look at is the euro pound. Now, last week, the euro pound sold off quite heavily, as you can see from the 0 0.96480. 90275 which in fact was our target from last week we were looking for advances into this target last week and we got a sell off from here and we broke back down below the key area of support at the 0 0.894849 roughly so what we're looking for going into next week is a correction and a pullback potentially to this broken support area turning resistance. And if we get that, we're going to start looking for bearish formations and patterns to form in this area. And we're going to be looking to short this pair down towards the target next week of the 0 0.97806. The next pair we're going to look at is the euro franc. Now, last week, the euro franc traded into key area resistance at the 1.155 area, roughly. And we started to sell off from this key area of resistance. Now, as long as this key area of resistance holds, we're going to be looking for a correction. And we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to appear in this pair. And we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the target next week of the 1.14536. The next pair we're going to look at is the Euro Oz. Now, last week, the Euro Oz sold off very heavily from the 1.51490, which is key area of resistance. It broke above this area of resistance. It came back to test its support and failed. And as a result, we saw this capitulation to the downside in the Euro Oz.
So going into next week, we are looking for further declines in the euro was. However, we do need a pullback and a correction to get involved with this because, as you can see, this thing is just pushing to the downside still. And because it's such a big push to the downside, we may get a deeper correction as well. So just bear that in mind. We may be on for a bit of a channel like this to the upside. But we are going to look for further declines in the euro was, and we're going to be looking to take bearish formations and patterns in the euro was a retest of broken support becoming resistance would be preferable but because this is such a steep move uh, it may be a bit ambitious to look for a correction that big but either way we're going to be looking for a correction and we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to appear anywhere in this area and we're going to be looking at shorting the euro oz down towards the target of the 1.48377 And finally, we are going to look at gold. Now, gold has broken above key area of resistance, as you can see over here, and it hasn't really tested it as support as of yet. Uh, we have the key area of resistance roughly at the 1282.95 area, and we have a target to the upside of the 1313.53. However, you can see we're getting fairly close to this target. So what we really would like to see is a correction and a pullback and a retest of broken resistance acting as support in gold. And if we get this kind of price action and the pullback into this area, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area. And this kind of pullback to this area is going to provide a great opportunity to start looking to the target to the upside of the 1313.53. And this will give us a fantastic opportunity in terms of risk and reward if we get a pullback into this area as well. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this week's video, and if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. I thank you again to all of you who do that on a regular basis. I do very much appreciate it. So the only thing left to say is I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. I hope you have a really good weekend. Take care, and don't forget to trade safely.